Projects would be a very simple one, but it's one which I would like to do. Is basically I have some old computer fans, these three. I don't know exactly how big they are, but they are pretty small fans. You can see maybe they're about 90 millimeter fans. I don't know what the exact points are to measure them, but they're small fans that I got out of out of old computers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect all of them together and power them off of a 9 volt battery lead. But since they're 12 volt fans, I could also power them with 12 volts perhaps for my solar panels. So basically, since it's hot in the summer and when the sun's out and producing solar power, then it's hot, then the fans can ventilate the room, which kind of makes it activated by the sun, so it will be used when the sun is out. You don't even need a battery. But if you want this portable, you can have this option for a 9-volt battery clip, and you can just use another 9-volt battery clip connected on the other end to power it from wires. But here's what we're going to do is, you can see that there's zip ties here and here and they hold these two together there. But I'm gonna do the same thing on these edges so it's straight and strong, and then we're gonna do the wires. What I do to remove the uh, the ends of the zip ties is to use this fingernail clipper, and it leaves them clean pretty fast. Okay, so now all of the fans are zip tied together pretty strong. All we have to do now is work on the wiring. What I want to do is I want to have as long as a cable as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip off the cables at either end, uh, splice them together, and then splice all this remaining cable together down the line. And of course, I have this piece of scrap cable, which I found on the floor. I'm probably just going to add this in just for some extra cable, as well as the battery clip lead. So let's get to doing that. As well as this switch. We're going to have a switch in here, so we can turn it on and off, and all the fans will be operated by this one switch. If you want to use more switch, you could have it be one fan, two fans, three fans. but. This should be good enough for this thing right here.
So here we have everything running off of just 5 volts. Of course, this is going to be run off of either 9 or 12 volts usually. Though if you wanted to do this, you could probably put a USB plug on the end of it and power it that way as well. But this should be good. This is a PWM wire. We can just cut this off. It's not not necessary at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off where it starts because this is a piece of wire which I might want to reuse and that's as good when it's as long as possible. So, it's a piece of wire for free. Moving on. Okay, so now we have two wires and we also have a switch and we want usually it's the positive wire that goes to the switch and then it goes to another source so actually we'll reuse this right now you know, the yellow wire will be the positive wire going to the switch and of course you can just twist them together and we're going to solder over these wires when we're done. Right. Yeah, we could even cut this in half. Okay, so now we have our positive and negative wires. This one's positive and this one's negative. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put it to our power lead and just using as much of this wire that's on the table as I can. Also, we want to know that we're gonna wire this somewhere like here where the switch is here and the power wires go down here and then out maybe at one of these holes so we'll do it like that and then we'll hot glue around it Okay, so here's the finished thing that I have right here. As you can see, I went over the wires. I First I wrapped them 
on electrical tape and then I got them all coated on hot glue just so the electrical tape, tape stays in place as well as for the switch here you can see it's mounted all the wire endings are covered in hot glue so it covers up the wires and it keeps the switch in place it is mounted at the top of the third fan or I guess it's at the side if you put it like this and it has a battery clip battery clip lead is covered in electrical tape so it's pretty good wire it's all finished how you can power this is you can power with a 9 volt battery but 9 volt batteries have very low amp hour ratings they uh, they have a lot of voltage but that they don't last very long which but with fans like this it should probably be fine but here's what i have chosen to use uh, this is actually a battery holder from, I bought it at Radio Shack, basically what it does, well you can buy them everywhere online, but it's an 8AA battery cell holder. It's meant for you to put your alkaline cells here so you can get 12 volts out of these two leads. Notice they're the same as the 9 volt connector. But if you put rechargeables in here, rechargeables are 1.2 volts instead of 1.5 volts. So 1.5 volt times 8 is 12 volts. But 1.2 volts times 8 is only 9 volts. So this does make uh, an exact 9 volt battery. If you want to get 12 volts, you would have to have 10 because 1.2 times 10 is 12. So you get 9 volts with this. If you want to get 12 volts, which these are 12 volt fans, you could do that. You would have to get 10 AA battery holders. I think they come in the same format too, but I've never got one. I don't think that these batteries are fully charged. I need to charge them some more, but just for the demonstration, it just pops in there. And of course, I can connect this to my lead acid battery solar power thing. And if I turn it on, yeah, so there's still some hot glue pieces in there, I guess, but it does blow a decent amount of air for, especially just for computer fans. It's, I'd say it's a pretty good fan. And if you put it up on upright, it's less stable. It, it might fall over, but whatever. And uh, now it's a tower, so to demonstrate that it's blowing air. Uh, well, that didn't work. Uh, go with this. No? Okay. So, it does blow a fair amount of air. Here, watch. Uh, well, here's a piece of a paper towel. So, it's blowing air. So you see it's on, it's off, so it goes back. Yeah. As demonstrated by the paper towel, and it's not a lot of air, but yeah, whatever, It's it was free. If you want to build one of these, yeah, it's, I'd say it's better than buying the fan at Walmart that's 12 volts. Save money and potentially have a portal fan. I don't really know how you could hold it portably. It's kind of an awkward shape. An improvement would be to make uh, grills on the fan. Uh, just because it would make it a little bit easier to hold as well as maybe a stand. And of course there's no reason why you can't get rows of these and stack them up maybe instead of just one fan by three fans you could have three fans by three fans so you get nine fans and, and it's a very flat fan maybe you could also stick one of these in your window and have a window fan that's low voltage that would be an interesting idea but you couldn't probably power it by the 9 volt battery all these fans are wired in parallel so 12 volts by whatever the amperage these fans are. As you can see, they are very low amperage. Uh, this one is 0.1 amps, this one is 0.12 amps, 
and this one is 0.3 amps. So they're actually all in ascending order. Not all of these fans are built equally. They can get ones with better power consumption or ones with worse power consumption. But I wouldn't say buy a bunch of fans just for this. Just get them out of whatever you can find.